Welcome to Tuesday Update. Hey, we had a great weekend here this past weekend at St. Pius. We, we uh, Remember we, we did the World Day of Prayer for those who are sick. You can see over my shoulder the red hearts. Those are people who are sick. They, you sent in about 200 names. And then the, the, uh, the pink hearts are those who are the caregivers. And there are about 135 of those. So we were able to do a little blessing on all of our people who are sick and those caregivers. That, and we're going to take those names this week and we're going to give those to our prayer ministry here at, at St. Pius. And, and they'll be praying for them as well. So thanks for sending in all those names. We also had a great Super Freeze party this week, uh, that little pre-Super Bowl party. Uh, down in the Parish Center, uh, had a lot of fun. The weather was super for, for taking the kids outside to play a little football. I'm really grateful to our volunteers. We had a bunch of new volunteers that uh, that, that did the jump in weekend and they jumped in to, to help out at, at that uh, that event. So really, really grateful to our volunteers. You know, many hands make light work and that was uh, the case at the Super Freeze this year. Ash Wednesday, just around the corner now. It's uh, February 22nd. We'll have three masses here, 6.30 a.m. 12, 10 p.m. and 6 p.m. Of course, we distribute ashes at all of them. And so I hope you can join us for one of those palms. We need your old palms. So this weekend at Masses, you can drop them off. Or during the week, we'll have a large container in the front of the church. You can come in any time during the week, just throw them in there. We're going to burn them a week from today and, and, and get our ashes for Ash Wednesday, okay? Hey, this Wednesday in the upper room, we're going to have a representative from Colony Senior Citizens here. And so we want to invite all of our seniors to come and, and, and family members because the Colony uh, Senior Service, they're going to tell us a little bit about what types of services they can offer to our seniors and some volunteer opportunities. So um, we'd love to have you stop by and maybe just you can go on the website and, and, and register for that or call the office to let us know you're coming. So one of our very, very popular programs here at St. Pius is our Women's Cornerstone Retreat. We've been doing it now for, we've probably done it four or five times, nothing in the last three years, but very, very popular. And so you'll be seeing more uh, information on that in the coming weeks. It's going to take place on April 21 to 22. And um, it's a really, really good program. Um, Kelly Baker is someone who's participated in the program, and I'm going to ask her now just to talk a little bit about, you know, what, what did she get out of this program? My name is Kelly Baker, and I attended Cornerstone 3 and it was an amazing experience. Cornerstone for me was a blessing. It was life-changing and incredibly impactful for me. I found sisters with love and warmth and support and have been working on my relationship with Christ and Cornerstone really helped me to deepen my faith. Each week when you walk in and see your Cornerstone sisters, it's such a special connection such a special bond. I would say for anyone that is considering joining the retreat and is feeling any anxiety around that, that is completely normal. I myself felt that because it is a new experience, but what I can tell you is if you say yes to the retreat, you will not regret it. I've found so many wonderful sisters that have continued to show me the love of Christ by their friendship and I'm so thankful for that. And most importantly, you'll be able to deepen your relationship with Christ and that's what's most important. A reminder, uh, this coming Monday is President's Day so our offices will be closed. This coming weekend, we're gonna have our, uh, our, our, our small group chosen program registration. Okay, so um, what we'll do is in the first uh, four Wednesday evenings of March, we're gonna to go to the upper room and we watch a different episode of the chosen series. And uh, we're gonna do, actually this year, we're gonna do uh, sessions um, or episodes five to eight. But we go up there and we watch one episode and then we break up into small groups. And this weekend, you're going to be able to register for that. And out here in the atrium will be a, a, a number of tables set up for you maybe to choose a small group that you might want to, you might want to uh, join. And there's all different types out there. There's a mixed group, married group, men's only, women's only, young adults. And so we hope you might think about it. It was very, very popular in the fall. And we want to offer it again here in the spring. So uh, give it a shot and uh, we'll see you this weekend for that. Uh, it's, a, it's a program that gives a, a great visual of the life of Christ and his association with his apostles. So it's a really good way to kind of deepen our faith during this upcoming uh, Lenten season. 
Lenten breakfasts are coming up March 4th. That's a Saturday from 9 a.m. to about 10.15. We're going to do it a little bit different this year. We're going to do it here at St. Pius. It'll still be that 9 to 10.15 time period on that March 4th. We're going to do breakfast down in the parish hall. And, um, you know, local newscasters here, um, Ashley Miller and, and Chris Onorado, are going to, they're going to do a, a combo um, a talk that day. So we think that's going to be good. We'll do that right here in the church, and then we'll walk right down, have our breakfast down the parish hall. So we we'll hope you think about the, doing that, and you can register online for that right now. Our monthly food collection, that's going to take place this weekend. That's for Sacred Heart. You're always really, really good, and they are really grateful to us at Sacred Heart for all that we do in terms of um, the food that we uh, uh, distribute down there. You can always come during the week. You know, there's a, there will be a box in the, in the front of the church here just to throw that, uh, that food in, or you can bring it to Mass with you this weekend. Hey, thank you for taking so many of the coin jars for the Casa Santa Ana home in the Dominican Republic that we're supporting. You know, last year we supported help building that dental clinic, and we want to get you some pictures of that so you can see. But also this year we asked them, hey, what do you need? They need school supplies, desks, chairs, books, uh, that sort of thing. So all our coins that we collect, uh, anything we collect, we're going to give them to give that to them for that uh, that purpose. And so, uh, if you didn't get a coin uh, collecting a little, little jar, we'll have some extra ones this weekend here for you. Just on, on the way out, you'll see them. Uh, but we are going to collect the um, containers on the weekend of March 18 and 19. A little thought for the week: the question isn't what can I do, rather what should I do. So the question isn't what can I do but rather, what should I do? So, going to look forward to seeing you this weekend. Have a good week.